Foreign direct investment is declining at the global level. At India's level, you must have read many places that it is also declining because there is a lot of competition to attract the foreign direct investment. India is not only competing with the other developing countries, but the competition is actually with the developed countries nowadays. The kind of industries which are attracting FDI nowadays are more into the high level technology, AI, renewables, and then there are geopolitical things which are playing its own role. I discussed about deglobalization. If we talk about net capital flows that has increased to 83 billion from 59 last time, primarily driven by foreign portfolio investment, including the deposits by NRI. This is supported by the India's growth story, progressive policy reform, economic stability, fiscal prudence, attractive investment avenues, financial services, automobile, components, healthcare, capital goods, by the significant sector attracting equity inflows. This is foreign portfolio investment touching a high level of 44 billion dollar and now you understand why the stock market is growing have grown 27 percent last year net equity inflows among emerging market india is at the top there is outflow in thailand slight outflow in philippines inflow in brazil small amount indonesia malaysia also outflow global fdi declined by 2% to $1.3 trillion because of the growth prospect, economic fracturing trend, trade and geopolitical tensions, industrial policies, supply chain diversifications, reshaping FDI pattern. Therefore, if you see net FDI flows in flows, it has declined here. Decline in net FDI inflow as a percentage of GDP also. For example, you don't remember all the numbers, you have to understand the trend here. Service FDI is higher in terms of the share comparison to the industry FDI, but both are declining. Here comes the differentiation of physical FDI versus digital FDI. Physical FDI is the FDI in automobile, pharmaceuticals, constructions, while digital is in computer services, telecommunication, consulting services, information and broadcasting. Few years ago, physical FDI was about three times of the digital FDI, but recently digital FDI has increased coupled with relative decline in physical FDI as per the Namura's report protectionism and geopolitical tensions have triggered the stagnation of the physical FDI. If we talk during FY17 and FY21, share of the digital FDI increased from 46% to 69% in the total FDI, but recent time there is a decline both in physical and digital FDI. Have a look at this graph and the major impact is because of the global capital flows in the tech startup which have declined heavily here and these tech startups are mostly digital FDI. In recent quarters, investment intentions in new and futuristic sectors such as renewable, artificial intelligence, data centers, EV and batteries, green hydrogen and semiconductors have rapidly risen. India has seen 21-22 AI related FDI projects in year 2022 with lot of multinational companies. A Bloomberg article says that India is not only competing with other developing nations to attract FDI but competing with the advanced nations now actively aggressively pursuing industrial policies that privilege domestic investment by dangling subsidies to business to prevent them from investing abroad and to entice other overseas investors who might otherwise consider emerging nations like India. Educated labor and skilled workforce coupled with a vibrant R&D culture are important magnets. In India, there is political stability, policy predictability, reasonable duties and taxes. You must be hearing about USA's economy, especially now the presidential election is coming. They also talk about the problem of unemployment in United States because of the migrant labor. Labor means these engineers, high quality workforce, which is going to the United States and creating competition in the employment. So they also want to first the investment remain in their own country so that they can provide employment to their own people. Do you think this video is useful for you? Please like this. This is important for me and please subscribe to the channel. We are here to make your job preparation 50% faster.